Hi, I'm Bob. In this video, we will learn how to perform the Monte Carlo simulation together. Monte Carlo simulation repeats the data generating process and the estimation hundreds or thousands of times. It is a great way to learn, understand, and evaluate estimation methods. Let me show you the performance of OLS and IV estimation methods in the presence of endogenous explanatory variables. First, we write a program for the data generating process, an estimation method. The command program defines a program and it goes with the end command. I name the program simu1. Each time we type simu1, the codes inside the program will be executed. Inside the program, we set 5,000 observations and generate an error term e1, which is randomly drawn from the standard normal distribution. The explanatory variables x1 and x2 are also randomly distributed. The second explanatory variable x2 has a component e1. The outcome variable y is a function of x1 and x2. It has a constant term and an error term e1. This is the true relationship between y and x1 and x2. The true value of the parameter of x2 is 1. Notice that the second explanatory variable x2 is correlated with the error term e1 because x2 itself has a component e1. Then we write down the regression using OLS. Let's run the program and then type its name simu1 and execute it. The OLS estimate of the coefficient of x2 is around 1.5. Next, let's use the command simulate to repeat the data generating process and the OLS estimation many times. We can specify the number of simulations or replications, say 100 times. I also set the seed so that each time we perform the simulations, we get the same results. After we run the simulate command, the estimated coefficients are stored in a new dataset. We can summarize the coefficients. The average estimated coefficient of x2 is 1.5 after 100 times Monte Carlo simulations. Remember, the true value is 1. The OLS estimate is indeed biased. That is because the OLS estimation is based on the data generating process where x2 is endogenous and is correlated with the error term. Now, let's take a look at how IV estimation works in the presence of an endogenous explanatory variable. We write a program called simu2. The data generating process is similar to the previous one, but now x2 is also related to a new variable z. z is not correlated with the error term e1. It is a valid instrumental variable for x2. We use the e regress command to fit the IV regression. Please check out the previous videos for more information on the endogeneity problems and instrumental variables method. We type the program's name to run the program and find that the estimated coefficient of x2 is close to 1. We repeat the data generating process and the instrumental variable estimation 100 times with the simulate command. We find that the average estimated coefficient of x2 is 1. It is a consistent estimate 
for the true value. In this video, we have used the Monte Carlo simulation to examine the properties of the OLS and the IV estimation in the presence of endogeneity. Monte Carlo simulation can be used in many other ways, and I will talk about that next time. Thank you.